back with our mini series leading up to this year's Rogue Invitational. We're looking at all 10 athletes, what they have done recently in competition, and then we're gonna go through the six events and let you know our thoughts and how we think they can do. Athol has only actually competed three times this last 12 months. At the 2021 Magnus Ver Magnussen Classic, he placed second to Maxime Boudreau. In this year's Europe Strongest Man, he placed seventh overall. And he made the final of this year's World Strongest Man and placed ninth overall. Athol has competed in eight international competitions so far. No international wins yet, but he has two national wins in Iceland. It's easy to forget that Athol hasn't been around that long. His first no, international no, was a Champions League in Norway, I believe in 2019. So he doesn't have a huge amount of international experience. He's got two World Strongest Man finals to his name. Yeah. Very solid performer. I feel this is going to be a tough competition for him looking at the events and being a, a later call up. But let's take a look at the events and see where we think he can do well, where we think maybe he won't do so well. So the first event is the 20 inch deadlift for reps, somewhere between 900 and 1000 pounds. Now he doesn't have the best track record on deadlift does he Athor? We've seen him do a slightly elevated deadlift at Wusbahrain last year and I think he placed last there. Yeah it's deadlift in general is not his favourite event. He tends to lose points on the deadlift in the higher level international competitions. The fact that he's slightly shorter sometimes is, is an advantage on an elevated deadlift but based on competition results, I don't think it's going to be the best start for Athor in this show. However, the second event, the Husafar Sandbag Carry for Distance, is an event where I think he could do very well. So he has quite a lot of experience with the actual Husafar Stone itself in Iceland. He did a Husafar Carry for Distance in the 2020 Iceland Strongest Man. He placed second, second only to Thor, we should point out, who is just world class at this event. And he carried it 70 meters. Yeah, I think his Icelandic roots are going to help him with this one. I think so. He's used to this type of event. They do it very regularly over in Iceland. And as you say, great results in the past. He's done it at the Magnus Fur Classic, uh, Iceland's Strongest Man, and he's always scored big points. So this could be one where he does really shock some of the bigger names. And this could be one where he kind of messes things up for the bigger names as well. If he manages to get between some good guys who are really in contention for the overall win, it could throw a spanner in the works for them, couldn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I love it. The next event is the sandbag load into the arm over arm pull. Yeah, and Athor is a solid performer again. I just don't feel he's quite good enough to challenge this level on this type of event. It's, it's gonna be a tough one for him. Grip, essentially not one of his strongest points, and you do need a strong grip on the rope to just keep pulling hard, but you never know. It is an event that's unknown, and he's a tough individual. He always works hard. You never know, but based on what we've seen in terms of loading and arm over arm type events, I don't think he scores big points on this one. Next then is the sear dumbbell medley where the athletes are going to have to lift four sear dumbbells and then rep out the last one if they make it there obviously. I love that every time you're like they're gonna rep out this last one. Very few guys are gonna get I to this last one. Alexi to rep out the last okay. one. <laughs> Alexi's gonna have to rep it. <laughs> well it's gonna depend even then on what position he's in. Yeah. But this dumbbell medley is brutal. It starts almost 115 kilos for the first dumbbell. This event is going to be hard. Last year, guys were getting zeros, guys were getting one or two reps. He's capable of a decent number. I've seen some training videos where he's done like 120, 125 kilos. I feel he's not going to be good enough to challenge for big points, but he could be somewhere in the middle. And I think there's kind of a number of guys yeah. when it comes to the dumbbell, it could be about how quickly they do one or two dumbbells. Yeah, I really don't see that many athletes doing three. I see potentially one, maybe two or three that can do four. So he's got to be focused on a quick one or two. If he does that, it'll bump his points up. So the next event is the yoke into the log press. So now Athor's log, he's a solid log lifter. He placed joint second at Europe's Strongest Man on the max log this year. Yoke middling. So it's gonna be like you said before, how quick can they get I through think, the I think for, for Athor, this all comes down to the, to the yoke. Yeah. How much does he struggle on that implement and how much has he got left for the, the log? Again, I can't see him challenging top three positions on this, but he's a solid performer. 
he needs really for him he needs to just be fighting for as many points as he can on this event and finally we have these stones over hitching posts so these are replicas of the traditional scottish inver stone he doesn't have the best results on atlas stones but natural stones are quite different aren't they yeah he's used to i know it sounds weird but he's used to touching natural stones <laughs> <laughs> he's a stone toucher um, and in Iceland they're often competing outdoors bad conditions the conditions should be very good in Texas so I think having that experience on natural stones may help him over saying just a, a flat out at the stone run okay. just having a bit of experience understanding that you've got to figure these stones out who knows he might surprise some of the guys that we would expect to be winning this type of event because he's got that experience so this is a massive ask, I feel, for Aethor. Like you said before, he's still relatively new to international level strongman. This will be his ninth international show. This is a really tough lineup. And of course, he has had the least amount of time to prepare for this event. Yeah, it's a funny one. I mean, there was a lot of talk about who should be the 10th yeah. athlete. And to be quite honest, whoever went is going to have an uphill task. Yeah, definitely. It's, you know, it's really going to be a challenge. All of us would have accepted that invite. Of course. It's, it's going to be yeah. a huge show. And he does have a couple of events where he could get some decent points. I can't see Aethor challenging for the podium. No. I don't even expect him to be top half. I think he's going to be fighting somewhere in the middle towards the lower end of the competition. If he can get those two big scores on a couple of the events, may be able to pull himself closer to the mid-table. But I think he's got a few events that he could challenge in. I'm looking forward to seeing how he does on those. And he's always a warrior, puts in 100% in every competition. So there we have it, three athletes done, seven more to go. Let us know your thoughts, guys, on A4 Ingleson Melster's chances at the 2022 Rogue Invitational. And make sure you don't miss an episode when you subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm.